The next tool we'll use is this guy right here. This tool can check the battery, the charging, and the starting system. Uh, basically, you'll hook it up. It's got some large connectors here. They hook onto a battery. Red goes to positive, black goes to negative. You just hook this up to the battery. And when I hook that up, this thing should come to life. That's your volt meter. Next thing I need to do is hook up the amp clamp. This is its method to check starter output, excuse me, charging output and starter draw. So I can hook this the same place where I had the other amp clamp hooked. Either around the positive cables or around the negative cables. So it can do three things. It can check the battery, it can check starting, it can check uh, charging. Right now, we're reading the voltage on my battery. What is it at? 12.25. So I discharged it because I cranked on that starter a while ago pretty good, didn't I? So I pulled the battery even lower, okay? Before I, before I make this thing start, y'all remind me that I need to plug up the ECM over there, okay? The first thing we'll do is to use this tool as a load test tool. Now, is this battery going to pass the load test? No. Why? Because it's low. Okay, so don't do this test the way I'm going to do it. Uh, make sure the battery's at least 12.4 volts, or this test is not valid. I'm just doing this for convenience here. So I'm going to do a load test on this battery, and the, the results is probably going to fail. So what I need to do is tell it how many amps to do my load test at. So how many amps was the battery, CCA? No, it was 950, so what's half of 950? 475. 475. So what I'll do here is on my uh, load test, basically this dial here is going to dial in my load test amps. Notice the number right here is changing. It was at like 25. I'm going to dial this up to how much? 475. 475. So I'll go up to 475. So I've got my load amps dialed in. Use the brown knob to do that. And then the timer. If it weren't already 15 seconds, I could adjust the timer with the up and down arrow. But it's already at 15 seconds. So I don't have, really have to do anything to the timer. The next thing I do is just hit battery load test, start. And for 15 seconds, it's going to pull that many amps out of that battery and then freeze my results. Now it's probably going to be less than 9.6 because this battery is low already. Okay? So the next thing I do is just pull that out. It's going to, it's going to pull big amps out. There's how many amps is coming out. Here's my live voltmeter, and here's my timer. I'm at 8 seconds, I'm already at 8.6 volts. I'm down to 4 seconds. 3, 2, 1. Okay? And what we have is we got down to 8.58 volts. Okay? Does that pass? No. It didn't pass, did it? Why didn't it pass? Because you got to have at least charge. Because this battery needs to be warmed up before I do this. But in the field, technicians would do this test on a vehicle or a truck that came in with battery issues, and they wouldn't care about how charged up the battery was. So guess what this vehicle got? New it got a battery. Did it need a battery? No. Probably <coughs> not. It may have just been discharged. That's why the digital battery tester is better. It told me that I need to recharge the battery, didn't it? That's why we have digital battery testers. All right? So it is still frozen my results. To get this thing to go back live, I just hit the display, live freeze button, and I push that one time, and it went back live. What's my charge level of the battery now? 12.18. Why did it go down? Because I pulled some big amps out of it for 15 seconds. So this is all adding up, isn't it? Okay? So now let's go ahead and uh, let's check the charging system next. That'll let the vehicle charge that battery back up before I do my starter draw test. All right? So someone hit the, the uh, exhaust button over there for me. Hit the green button right there by the phone. So I'm going to start this vehicle up and we're going to see it, uh, see it run. Now, it's still connected. Thank you, Thomas. I'm going to plug my ECM up. It's still connected. So what I'm going to see when I first start this is just live charging activity. So I'll see the voltage go up, and I'll see the current go up. 
that, that's good to know information, but I'm also going to, once it's running for a while, I'm going to hit the charging output test button. What that's going to do is load the system electrically. It's going to pull the voltage down to make that charging system come up as much as it can. That is called a charging output test. Okay? And I'm saying all this before it starts because you won't be able to hear me when this thing is running. So we're going to run the vehicle. That will show me live charging, voltage and amperage. The next thing I'm going to do is hit the charging output button here and raise the throttle up and it's going to run that test for a few seconds and then freeze my results. Okay? That's the process I'm going to do. So plug up the CPM. Start the vehicle. When it starts, you're going to see live activity there. It's going to show current and voltage. It 
freeze the result. Let's try it again. Somebody come up close to see if make sure the amps are reading too. <laughs> so there's my starter drop, 488 amps. I could compare that to the spec of this engine. It's going to be in that range, I think. That's probably normal starter draw for this application. You got a bigger engine, normal's going to be higher. You got a smaller engine that's gasoline, normal is going to be lower. Okay? That's how to check the starter draw. That's how to use this tool. So what all will this tool measure? Battery load test, starter draw, and charging output. Okay. Unhook him and then hook up another piece of 